Hello everybody and welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps. This is Margie and I appreciate you stopping by my channel. If you are a longtime viewer, uh, just thank you so much for, for returning time and time again to watch my videos. And if you're a first time viewer, I hope you enjoy these videos. I try to keep them real because uh, if if I happen to have a big flub up, I will show you. I won't edit it out as ghastly as it seems because even longtime soapers, I don't want to call myself a longtime soaper, but it's been over oh four years that I've been making cold process soap. You know, and things things happen, and I just don't want new soapers to think that everything is peachy honky dory that we never make mistakes or you know i mean life life happens so i just want to show you everything and then you're like oh my gosh you know things happen so anyway so you know if you do um enjoy my videos please subscribe so you will know when i post the videos all righty let's get move on here i Oh, it took forever and ever for my life solution to cool down. It is right here, and I should have made it last night, but I was just so doggone tired last night. And I usually use a one and a half to one lie ratio for my life solution, which means that I'm using uh two or this time i'm using uh twice the amount of weight in liquid which is my distilled water than the amount of the lye crystals and that's what that means it's never ever by volume um, everything here is by weight and so this is quite a bunch here but because i'm using this fragrance oil from Wellington. It's called the plum, or is it spice plum, plum spice? I'm trying to look across the room where I, I see the bottle. But anyway, it um, it has notes. It smells like um, like an almond, almond cherry, which is kind of interesting. And one of my customers had, had used this one, well, not, not the Wellington fragrance, but she had used something similar from Brambleberry, which is just north of us in Washington State. And she absolutely loved it. So she asked if I could could uh, make some for, for Christmas. So recently I did purchase a new device to take pictures and and videos and it should take really really nice ones so let me know what you think it's like my my old older cell phone it was just taking really really bad pictures and i do put a lot of my pictures on instagram so i needed something really nice okay so the oils are at a nice 82.1 so we're good there so i've been kind of thinking about what i want to do for this um let's see so just to run past some colors here hopefully this is going to show this is the shimmer gold and the maya gold both from nurture soap and these purple ones they're all from Nurture Soap, and it's the Enviro, Enviro Glitter, um, the Eclipse, and the Imperial Purple, and the Mardi Gras. All right, so look at these little puppies. Aren't they pretty? So I made these in beds um, quite a while ago. It has like the maple leaves. Um, what is that? The um, oak? Let me see. Where are we here? 
Is that like an oak leaf? Aren't those pretty? And oh no, no, no. This is this is the uh oak. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to see where we're at here. And so I had used just a whole bunch of different colors, and I just I just love these. But but look at this. I have done everything in my power to prevent this glycerin. So so when you have a moist environment, which is the Pacific Northwest, the uh, glycerin kind of starts coming out and it just looks wicked. And I have sprayed these with the, the alcohol, but it's like it's, but it's only on a few. So I'm going to be putting those on the top of the soap. Let's get going here. Okay. Now I'm going to get myself a different container because this is just getting too full for my slab mold. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that, folks. So I'm going to try to minimize the acceleration. I'm just going to give it a nice stir. So I hope everybody is doing well. As this, you know, COVID is still upon us. It, I, I remember when it first started going into grocery stores and maybe only a couple people would be wearing the mask. And now it's like everybody does. And it's just kind of part of life, isn't it? So I hope everybody is doing well out there. Okay. I think I'm just going to give this a quick little, just a quick whiz. And I'm just trying to think what color I want on the bottom. Got all that gold. Got to get this blender down to the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to wait on that. I'm not going to beat it too much because I still got a bunch of blending to do. Okay, so I have almost six quarts. So if I peel off, peel off? <laughs> Is that word? One, two, three. Oops. Well, I don't know if that, if my new cell phone, if that thing was going on for a while. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what happens here, folks. Ooh, that does smell like cherries and almonds. Okay, any racing? No racing yet. So I think this purple set up pretty nice, but I think I was going to make some sort of little spikies in there. Yeah, so I think definitely increasing the water definitely helped this time. Wee, 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 wee.
Alrighty, everybody. So I'm cutting up four different loaves of soap. And you'll have to excuse the background. Um, Halloween was just a couple of days ago. So this is the uh, spiced plum from Wellington. And I absolutely adore how all of my leaf and beds turned out. I am just tickled, tickled, tickled with that. This is probably the only fragrance oil, unfortunately, um, from Wellington that actually smells very good. Let's see, I'm probably a little bit too close. There we go. So I want to say that it smells like almonds, almonds and cherries. And it seems like one of my first soaps that I ever made was kind of like a cherry almond. And I think it was from like Brambleberry and it just exploded in the house and it just got everybody so sick. I'll never forget that. But, but no, this, um, this one does smell very, very good. And it's probably been a couple of weeks since I made it. And, I mean, it's still nice and strong. But, now this was the first time I had used this fragrance oil. I mean, uh, yeah, bought, bought fragrance oils from Wellington. And, you know, I hate to say it. I'm going to lay that down on, on the side. I hate to say it, but um, most of them... Were, you know, had a Christmas name, and their description is just nothing compared. Aren't those? I just love the uh, oak leaves. I just love those. Now, so so the the fragrance in the bottle is just nothing like what uh, what the description is, and I mean. As you guys probably know by now, um, you know, I just kind of tell it like it is. I really don't like to poo-poo a lot of, you know, I don't like to poo-poo a company. But, you know, you spend all of this money buying fragrance oils for Christmas. And Christmas is my big, big time of the year for sales. So, yeah, so I was very disappointed because most of the fragrance oils, they either had like a floral note, which they weren't supposed to, according to the description. Yeah, so, so this is just kind of the, the, that little wave that I did, you know, with the spoon. And, you know, I spent a lot of money. Um, I probably spent, well, I think I did spend over $200 because I bought most of them in a 16 ounce because, as most of you know, uh, companies will charge like an arm and a leg for, for like a little four ounce bottle. But for the 16 ounce bottle, it's just not that much more. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'll give it a go. Well, lesson learned, huh? All right, gang. So these will be part of the Christmas uh, release. And I'm trying to get all of the soaps cut and cured. So they will be on my... Uh, Facebook page, Ladybug Lane Soaps, and I'll be probably uh, posting everything, 
probably later November. Aren't those just cute? So anyway, so stay, stay tuned. And if you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Have a good day.